Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I want to show you how to answer. For this one, we need to find about complementary solution and particular solution. So I need to concentrate about complementary solution. So I will put about yc equals to e to the power of lambda s. Later that we do first the derivative of yc and we have lambda e to the power of lambda s. So if we do first the derivative of e to the power of lambda s, we keep the same e to the power of lambda s. Later that we do first the derivative of lambda s, you got lambda. And now we go to second the derivative of yc. And we have lambda squared e to the power of lambda s. Because this is about complementary solution. So this one equals to number 0. So I will put this one cone here. This one cone here and this one cone here. So we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s minus number 6 lambda e to the power of lambda s plus number 9 e to the power of lambda s equals to number 0. And now e to the power of lambda s we can do about factorization. So we have e to the power of lambda s multiplied by lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 9 equals to number 0. So we need to find the solution of this one. So we see that this one equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. And that is about identities in here. So this one we have lambda minus number 3 everything to the power of 2. Because we have the power 2 in here, that means we have 3 factors lambda minus number 3. So I will put this one go to the right and we have lambda equals to number 3, lambda equals to number 3. So for this one we can find about yc that is about c number 1 e to the power of lambda s. So we need to put number 3 cone here and that is about e to the power of 3s. Because two solution, because two solution, they are the same number three. So we have C number two, S E to the power of three S, and that's it. The answer for Y C. The next one. That is about particular solution. So because we have four S square. And number two, that is about the constant. So we put about a plus b s plus c s square. So because we have the constant, so we need to put about a because this is about s square. That means about y b need to have two units of s. The next one we have e to the power of three s. However, on this one, yc, we have e to the power of 3s. So because if we put about the e to the power of 3s, when we put this one go to this equation in here, they will create about 0 the e to the power of 3s because this is about complementary solution. So that is the reason we need to put about 
D S where e to the power of 3s so we just increased the power of 4s by number one so this one we have one so one plus one we have number two and now we do first the derivative of y b this one that is about the constant so you got zero this one we have number one so we have b this one we have s square and you got 2sc or i can put about 2cs this one we can apply the product rule of the derivative so we do first the derivative of s square we have 2s multiply by e to the power of 3s this one we have 3s square e to the power of 3s now we go to second the derivative of y b this one that is about the constant so you got zero in here this one we have number one so we have to see so for this one, we need to do first the derivative of s. So we just have two e to the power of three s, and later that we do first the derivative of this one, and we have six s e to the power of three s. This one we have two s, number two and number three we have number six. And this one, number three and number three, we have number nine. So number six and number six, we combine together. And that is about number 12. So for this one, we can put into this equation. So this one in here, I will put this one cone here. And this one in here, I will put this one cone here. And the last one, I will put this one cone here. So in this situation that we have like this so Negative number 6 multiplied by this one. So that should be about B plus 2C. And we have S in here. And we have D. That is about this one. So, because I don't have space, so I will put this one next to D in here. And the next one, positive number 9. So, we just copy this one. Go in here. So, after that, we simplify everything. And we have like this. So, we have the constant we have to see plus or minus we have 6b we put in here plus 9a we put in here the next one that is for s 
about s we have negative number six with two c and that's about negative 12 c nine and b we have nine b the next one that is about s square about s square we have nine with c nine c The next one, if we simplify about related 4D in here, that should be about 2D e to the power of 3S. So this one, we have 4S squared plus 2 minus 12E to the power of 3S. So we need to compare coefficient. So, we see that we have 2D and we have negative number 12 next to E to the power of 3S. So, 2D equals to negative number 12. The next one, that is about the constant. This one, that's it for S, but we don't have S. That means negative 12C plus 9B equals to number 0. Oh, this is I, not D3. And the last one, 9C equals to number 4. So we need to find the solution of A, B, C, D. So A equals to 14 over 27. B equals to 16 over 27. C equals to 4 over 9. D equals to negative number 6. So I will put A, B, C, D, go to this one. So we have 14 over 27 plus 16 over 27, S plus 4 over 9 s square d we have negative 6 s square e to the power of 3 s so after we have everything in here we have the final answer yc plus yb yc we have this one yb that is about this one So we sum 2yc and yp together and that is the final we need to write. This is the end. Thank you for watching.